finish podcast recording and I'm gonna walk home because it's actually really warm out. It's Friday, it's the end of the day, start of the weekend and I'm very excited for it. Not a ton of plans. I have an appointment tomorrow um, and then swimming Sunday and so we'll see how it goes. Today was really fun. Honestly, we recorded two episodes and it's the first time that we did two episodes that I like planned and got all the questions together for. Um, so that was really fun. I like doing both approaches and I really like when my clients like weed their questions too because I think it like helps them get out like the best info. But it was really fun to try something different. We kind of did a little bit more just like conversational and I feel like there are two topics that will hopefully do very well. I feel like I haven't been in the plus 15 in like so long because so I've been Ubering or getting rides because it's been cold. So it's like kind of nice. I'm also realizing I don't walk enough because I'm already kind of tired. So nice so people are skating again. Not just hiding inside. Look at that blue sky. Gorgeous. Date night. <laughs> We just wanted like a big meal. It is so warm out. Hi, it's Saturday. I just got finished up at a doctor's appointment. My appointment was supposed to be for, oh my goodness. My appointment was supposed to be for 1.30 and it is now 2.45 and I'm just getting out of there. Um, and we talked for maybe like 10 minutes. So it's just like time is a concept here. Uh, but anyway, basically I just found out I have low iron, which is like, it's not that low though, which is kind of good. Otherwise though, I am really needing to do some podcast editing today. I was like feeling all the way better from being sick and then we went out last night for dinner we went to Old Spaghetti Factory like I showed you and I started to feel almost like feverish. So I don't know what that's all about because when I started feeling sick it was like over a week ago. So sometimes I wonder, like I find when I eat out in Calgary, like I almost always get sick or feel sick and I always wonder if there's like an oil or something that my body doesn't like. But like once we left the restaurant, I felt fine and I feel fine now, but I was like, maybe I should be resting more. I don't know. So who knows, but I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do now. I think I wanna maybe, there's like a home sense here and a winner's, I might peek into those um, and then go home and do podcast editing. I think that's kind of the plan. We were having some issues with like files yesterday and like getting our video files to work. And so we might be looking into buying like some actual cameras for the show, which is always like great to do. We didn't just because we mostly do audio, like that's the main focus. Uh, but if it is something we add in, it's gonna be something I'm gonna have to learn a bit more about. So that is exciting, but also a little bit like scary because I just feel like I have limited time I can put into freelance, but I always wanna do like a really good job. So I'm gonna work through that, but yeah. Glad I just spent so much time here <laughs> to go get some iron supplements. Um, but it's okay. I do feel like this doctor has been good. And it's just good to have a doctor, honestly. So that is me. That's Saturday. Pretty boring so far. I want to go get some food, but I think I'll poke around in some shops here and then head out and I don't know, see what the rest of the day holds. Okay, I went into HomeSense and it was such a sleigh. Like, it's so nice in there. I got two things. One is this towel. I needed a new swim towel. Ben stole mine and lost it. <laughs> and then I got this painting. It's on like linen and it's like, I don't know, I just like the vibe. I don't know if I like the frame. It's like kind of gaudy, but I do feel like in the right place it would be cute. Um, I'm gonna head home now. I think I'm gonna get some food on the way. Probably just McDonald's and then we'll probably take a little rest and then start editing. I wish I had more exciting plans today, but I was intending to like get ahead with my podcast editing. Sorry, these alarms. I was intending to get ahead with it um, like over the past like week or so, but I've had so many appointments in the evenings that I haven't been able to like dig into it. And so I basically have to get it done today or tomorrow because my client like expects them usually by like Sundays um, or Monday at the latest so that there's like at least a week to like review it. But whatever. Um, one day I will have my evenings free again. Uh, yeah.
but that's all. I really don't have much to like talk about this weekend, so hopefully I have some other cool things to show you. Uh, but it's probably gonna be pretty chill and just like worky. Let's get out of here, let's get home and see what the day brings. Okay, so I went and got McDonald's and I had to pay for a bag, whatever. And then they gave me this cup, but no straw because there's no like single use things anymore. How do you drink this? Put a sippy cup. I just like choked on <laughs> food, but I am editing the last vlog that would have gone up before this one right now. I need to go get my charger though and I'm watching Girls Next Door. I love listening to the Girls Next Level podcast with Holly and Bridget, and not all the seasons are on Prime, but some of them are, so we'll go back and kind of like watch, and it's always like so funny. Like I almost enjoy hearing about it more than watching it, because I just think they're both such good speakers. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to. I'm kind of avoiding editing, but I will get into it at some point here. <laughs> It's Monday. I disappeared for the past couple of days. I think I filmed like a small clip yesterday of me going to swimming. Um, but really yesterday was like an uneventful day and I like just was an egg and sat at home, did podcast recording or um, editing all day and then went to swimming in the evening with Ben and that was great. And then today was just kind of work and now it's pretty late. It's like almost eight and I'm going to a ballet class. I'm doing a complete beginner class. I haven't done one in quite some time actually, but I am excited for it. It's kind of to just like test the water since I've been off for a while now and just like get my body moving again. And then hopefully I'll be able to get back to my usual class sometime in the next couple of weeks or so. But I'm kind of excited. I feel like I'll remember like technique things that I've forgotten and um, I'll probably be able to focus more on technique because I will, it'll hopefully feel easier to me choreography and everything wise so I can focus on like little details. We'll see. I've never done beginner at this studio. If it's similar to the other place I used to go to, it should be pretty easy. Um, but if it's not, we'll see. So I'm excited about it. I'm going to head in there and just see how it goes. But <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how I'm talking, I'm just so tired today. Everyone I know that I talk to at work and just in life today is feeling it. I don't know what is in the air, but I'm excited to kind of be done this and go home and get some sleep. Okay, it's about nine now. I did survive, but I couldn't jump. And I and I felt really bad because the instructor was being like, jump everybody. And like, she had us doing like some like little across the floor stuff. And I just like didn't do it. I was just kind of walking. And so afterwards I was like, hey, I'm sorry. I would normally jump. I just am like working through some things. So yeah, but the rest of it did feel good. It was like helpful for my life and it felt good to be back at it. It was harder than I was expecting. Like it wasn't, if I were <laughs> like normal form right now, it would have been kind of like perfect. Like I do think I'll keep doing this one if I can. Um, I might need to give it like a couple more weeks. We'll see. But yeah, it felt really good. And it was actually like every studio is interesting because they kind of have their own like curriculum and what they're teaching in this beginner is very different from the school I went to before. And so taking intermediate here without ever taking beginner here, there's like stuff that I actually never learned at the other place. And so I do feel like it's good. Like, I feel like I'm getting a more well-rounded knowledge of ballet, which is really great. But I did find, because the class is only an hour, like the pace compared to where I went before, where the classes were an hour and a half, was a lot faster. And there was a lot less like simple instruction, I guess. So I don't know how long this like group has been going together because I just do like drop in. Um, but yeah, anyway, felt good. That feels like that's the level I'll probably need to do for a little bit here. And hopefully I will be back in the other class, but honestly, that class had so much turning and I suck at turning that it's not the end of the world if I can't do it. Okay, I was hoping now that we had more light, this would be easier to chat, but like now it's too bright. So sorry about that. But anyway, the reason I am tired today is because I'm reading Julia Fox's biography or autobiography and it's so wild. Like I didn't really know anything about her and she 
has had just the wildest life. And I feel like between reading hers and like Matthew Perry's, I am getting such a different view on like celebrity drug use and addiction. Like, I don't know. It's just like fascinating that these people had such severe addiction issues, but still had like such careers. Not that hers and Matthew Perry's are necessarily comparable, but like, it's just, I don't know. It's like really interesting to read about and just like wonder how much is going on. I feel like it makes me feel a little naive, honestly, but it's interesting. It's definitely like a bit of a hard read um, and it can be triggering, but what a fascinating life. I had no idea. I, d I really didn't know anything about her. Um, anyway, though, it's Tuesday. I'm here at the office in this like grandpa looking outfit, but I've got on jeans and some boots and I'm hoping it's a good day. It's supposed to be 10 degrees out today, like nine or 10 degrees. So I didn't bother with a coat. I don't want to do all that, but I do need to go later to an appointment. So I think I have one. I do have one stash back there that I can pull out. Yeah, I'm hoping it's just a good normal day stuff to do and I hate this lighting so I will catch you later. Hello I can't actually remember where I left off but I think I filmed a clip last night that I am going to not put in because it was just like really dark and I'm so tired of these like dark lit vlogs so I'm gonna catch you up on the last like day after work yesterday and today and that's really all didn't need to say and I last night had an appointment after work, so the work day was good. Um, got to go for cork or coffee with Corker. I think I mentioned this, and then I had an appointment. Um, the appointment was good actually. I was, um, it actually really really helped. So that was great. And then today is my one day this week that I don't have any appointments, so I decided to work from home today because. Then like in between meetings or when I take like breaks, I can throw in some laundry and I can eat some food from home instead of buying food out. And it's just nice, honestly. Um, I only have one call. It's in about 10 minutes. So I'm just taking a moment before that. And then I don't have any other meetings. So that's honestly really nice. It's a day where I can start to catch up on things. And like I've been kind of chatting about the last couple of vlogs, there's just a lot of moving pieces right now. So lots to do, um, but manageable you know you just gotta do what you can do with the hours you have in a day and then this evening really no plans ben and i've been watching love on the spectrum we've watched both seasons now so we just finished that yesterday i got home from the appointment and even though like that was good i was in just kind of like not the best mood um more just because of like life things and so we just had like a really nice hangout evening and just sat in bed and basically watched the whole season and eat food we got greek and then had some like dunkaroos and it was just honestly really nice um and then today no plans i think what would be really nice it looks really sunny out so i'm looking all around but i think it would be really nice to maybe go for a bit of a walk um i know we've both been missing that with the weather so maybe that's what we'll do and then like i said i want to get some like laundry going and some other bits and pieces I have removed, like, from my Instagram, like, all the shops I like to shop from. Like, I removed Aritzia, I removed Dynamite, like, a bunch of others because they just get me <laughs> when I see the stories, especially, like, sales stories. And, like, I know what they're doing. Obviously, I work in marketing. I get it. I know that if I see it, I'm going to want it. But, it like, it still works, you know? So I've removed all those because I'm really trying to, like, cut down all of my spending right now because tax season is coming up. Um, and I freelance, so that's always bad. And then my trip is coming up. And while the trip, like the flights and everything were okay, hotels and Airbnbs were a little more than I thought. It's not bad. The whole trip right now is still only at like two grand. And I think I only have one more hotel night to book. But there's also going to be shopping. And that's kind of like what I would like to have some money for because there's going to be lots of stores that we don't have in Canada. And it would just be nice to be able to buy like a few nice things. Um, and I'm going to have to eat and get around and I'm not going to have someone to split costs with. So I need to plan that. And I also need to get my passport renewed. So I do feel kind of swirly with my to-do list. Like it's stressing me out a little bit, but I do 
trust that if I just take it like one thing at a time, that's okay. And I also have the type of attention span that's a little all over. So sometimes I just need to like rein it in and reprioritize and remember like that everything is like going to get done. You just need to have a plan. So that's kind of today, a little bit of an admin day, a little bit of a work, well, not a little bit, a work day <laughs> and um, a little bit of hopefully a chill evening. Yeah, so that's me. I'm gonna go get myself my coffee reheated, jump into this meeting and then finish up some of my other tasks. Hi, I'm in bed and I am editing this vlog. I think I'm gonna end this one here. I really don't have any other plans for the evening. I am really tired. It's after work and I took a little nap and now I'm just gonna edit. And then um, Ben has some plans for dinner. So I'm excited for that. But otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope that this was fun to watch. I know it wasn't like the most exciting week, but hopefully there was like, I don't know, hopefully you just had fun hanging out. And I do hope the next one is more interesting. I always say that, but if you like, I don't know, I like to watch boring vlogs, so maybe you're into it. Either way, thanks for being here. Please hit subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.